Hello Leo, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your tarot zodiac forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on the title at the time it may have intrigued you. Um, I pulled from two oracle decks for you Leo <clears throat> and I guess we'll start with this one. Um, also the extended readings are $10.00 but it gives you access to all of the extended readings of all the zo weekly zodiacs and the daily afternoon delight extended readings for an entire month only ten dollars you won't find a deal like that anywhere on the internet and i think it's it's evolved and created it's kind of evolved itself building into a, a place where i've noticed members are getting more chatty with each other and i love that that people are connecting that way the live show Sunday night, we give away gemstones every Sunday night. We draw from the members area. But for the public, you get free cards. So if you're in if you're in the room at the time of the live stream, you can put your name up there or ask a question. And I get to as many people as I can pulling cards for them for free. So hopefully we'll see you there too, Leo. The oracles that we pulled were, um, I wanted to pull this one first, moving on. But what is by your moving on or moving forward, partnerships and alliances and fulfillment of wishes. Partnerships and alliances, fulfillment of wishes. Some of you are coming into union. Some of you are leveling up on your partnerships, whether it's business or love. But there's a lot of fulfillment here from it. And possibly from this energy that you had been through in the past, moving on. Six, moving into tranquil tranquil uh, energies in your life. These are all divisible by three. Threes are very predominant here. But we've got the indigo, we've got the violet, and we've got... So we see the throat, heart, and crown chakra here being open. Very nice energy, Leo. The Fairy Forest Oracle brings fresh, new spring. Silent, observant, wily, and protector guardian champion. Something seems to be blooming here for you, Leo. But in the process of this blooming, you're quietly watching it unfold. You may feel moments of wanting to rush in and rescue a situation but your intuition is telling you to just hold back and watch it unfold you've got the magic horn wait until the person approaches you rather than initiating it it looks like the energy of wanting to initiate it but i think the the wisdom here is to observe waiting for that right moment that you can be of use or help because something is about to sprout. Something is in the wind for Leo. So let's get on to the Tarot Zodiac portion of your reading. Over at the extended, um, what I pull here, I pre-shuffle all the decks, but cut in front of the video. And that's to save time and focus on the reading. And then I go to the uh, spiritual part of the reading. Over at the extended, we, we dive really deep and into the love. The love shows up in the, the general as well. You're faced with a temptation. This could be because of these oracles. The temptation to rush in and save a situation, but you know that they can handle it on their own. Waiting for the right moment. Perhaps you're waiting for a person to open up to you. You know something's up, but you're being observant, waiting for them to open up. Only then will you help. Maybe the temptation is to poke at them and say, you know, what's going on? Uh, something's bugging you. I can feel it. Here you are, Leo, looking very attractive, desirable, magnetic, charismatic. This is also the card of the entrepreneur. So if you're in business for yourself, this is about going after what you want and getting it, whether that's love or business. Messenger of fire, that crown chakra opening up. 
you're still protective of your heart, but the aura of enlightenment, anticipation is starting to surround you. You're looking around to see what this energy is, but there's a, an excitable feeling about it. Ace of Fire, a brand new beginning without baggage or negativity. A clean slate. There's the page of fire. This path is starting to open up for you, Leo. You can feel it. You can anticipate it. Maybe it's why you're, you got the card for the being quiet, observant. Because when this opens up or springs out of the ground, you're going to hit the ground running. That path opens up for you. A very exciting one. This is a total transformation you've been through. Something new is in the works. Ten of fire. Letting go of past issues. Burdens. Responsibilities. Could be that you just took on too many responsibilities and they just became too heavy and you needed to lay down those burdens. Thus, this new beginning without the baggage. You needed to unload Heart of your reading is a decision that you need to make. Page of Earth is about um, someone coming in with a gift. Could be an offer of stability, a leveling up of education. But someone comes in with, that opens up this opportunity. A lot of messengers here. Five of Air. This is about conflict arguments perhaps what you're doing is avoiding argument you're wearing a mask and you're just in pause before the pirouette uh, you know the vision I get here is that you're you're in this pause and while all these blocks are coming at you these blockages that have been standing in your way or people after that pause you take a pirouette and just knock them right off your tightrope perfect balance new love coming in an offer of love a gift of love abundant overflowing love perhaps a renewal of you know devotion to someone you're in a commitment with because we have a judgment call this could be mercury retrograde reflecting on the past and where you want to go in your future how much of this baggage from the past or what you've learned from the past are you going to take forward? And how much of this is going to just be burdens that you release? But it could be a person from the past returning as well and you have to make a judgment call, new love or old love. So now we'll get into the shaman deck, the spiritual oracle of guardians, guides, ancestors that want to give you a message they're taking you to the upper world and advising you leo take the high ground whatever's going on around you at this time take the high ground your crowning energy well temptation and the spiral the spiral is about transformation shedding an old skin big change the temptation could be wanting to slide back into the old skin old ways old perhaps you broke up with someone and you're tempted to take them back uh, but you're you've shed your your skin you've gone through this transformation so maybe this uh, observant quiet energy that's being advised is very advisable right now before you're tempted to take a step back into an old pattern. You know, it, this spiral talks about no need to keep poking at your underbelly to see if the skin's toughened up. Am I ready yet? That may be what you're doing. I'm going to tempt myself to see if I, I'm strong enough to handle this now. Which is tempting fate. So don't be tempted to tempt yourself <laughs> if that makes any sense the giveaway the queen of fire knows what she wants and goes after it 
but she's also abundant. And what she gives, she gives a value. Not something that she would throw in the garbage. Something that is still of value to her. This could be um, of service. Service to others. Messenger of Fire is going to be clarified by the child. You've been through a cycle, ended a cycle, and now you're ready to go on this brand new path. And you can see this is a child as well. Going into this new experience, this new adventure, this new cycle, with the, the eyes of a child, with wonderment. This also talks about living without attachment, being able to have that freedom to go on this adventure. This is surrounding you, like you're, you're turning your head, like you feel this coming, Leo. And it's, it's an exciting feeling. The moon is about secrets, hidden things, and cycles. You've ended a cycle. No need to go back and repeat the lesson. Things are being revealed to you now. And I think mostly what's being revealed to you now is that you do not need to carry some of these burdens that you've been carrying. That you know that this is the time to release them. Page of Fire is being clarified by the Middle Earth. The path that is opening up for you, you're going into this well-balanced. We have all the energies here. Earth energy with the Fibonacci. You're well-rooted and grounded. Fire energy, which purifies. This orb around the tree is the water energy and the air energy with the messenger messengers the birds the spirit messages this area you're coming into with balance you're able to branch out with so this is something new that's beginning a path that's opening up for you and you're it's almost like you're looking up to see where you can stretch your branches to and look the branch being stretched out you have your spirit guide of this new adventure that will be growing with you into a, a full bone blown uh, tiger branching out transformation is being clarified by the blade you had to cut something out in your life blade says do not draw me unless you intend to use me and do not sheathe me again without honor so be careful before you start cutting off branches make sure those branches are dead sheath this again with honor stay in your integrity through this transformation jaguar oh yeah you're taking control of your life now this is the top of the food chain this is the king of the amazon forest emperor material taking control having your territory marked and ruling over your own kingdom this almost makes me feel like you're delegating some of these responsibilities saying look this is your responsibility now I've carried it for you this long taking care of it but now it's up to you to carry your own wand at the heart of your reading clarified this decision you're being helped with this decision you need to make your ancestors are around you the ancient ones you're going to be able to draw when it comes to this decision you have to make you'll be able to draw on the wisdom of the ancient ones they're surrounding you right now page of earth is going to be clarified by the smoking mirror so when this offer comes in or gift or opportunity it may seem a little hazy to you you may not be able to see too far ahead of you as to how this can branch out i think you're moving on um empathic abilities or intuitive abilities to know that this small offer could 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 turn into something very great so the intuition of these cards or the cards are saying your intuition is is correct because when the smoke is cleared what is revealed is something magnificent it may not seem like much now So this pause moment, look at this. First you kick behind, now you kick in front. Trying every key 
to open this new door until you find it and break free. And this love, wow, wow. Seeing the beauty in others, others seeing the beauty in you. And whoever this is, this abundant love, if it is, uh, you know, someone that you're connecting with, partnering with, it's, it's a beautiful road ahead of you for the two of you. Choosing the right steps to take, the right way to do things, the right way to treat each other. So it could be someone new coming in, but someone from the past turns up and you have to make a judgment call. The neat, the neato thing about this is that when this happens, this person from the past returns or something of a nostalgic nature, something returns, something is resurrected, something that you have to make a judgment call on. You have the, you can draw on the energies of the crow. The crow is the all-seeing eye, the pineal gland opening, seeing things for what they are in order to make a sound judgment call. So we're going to pull out what this new love and old love is all about in the extended reading. I hope you join us over there. I hope you join us for the Sunday Night Lives. They're at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hit the like, subscribe, and hit the wiggly bell for notifications. Thank you so much for your support, Leo. You guys have been great. God bless you. We'll talk to you on the other side, hopefully. Bye for now.